Edmonton is full of light, polluted with it, in fact. Buildings, cars, street lamps, they all radiated. But for millennia, humans navigated, told time, and created stories and philosophies by starlight. So what happens to us when the stars are no longer visible? To find out, we came here to speak to a man who's built a career out of studying the sky. Well, hi, Dennis. Hello, Pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Likewise, right. thank you so much. Yeah, so would you like to see the planetarium? Please. All right, come on in. We'll take you. you in this way and we'll show you what we can do on our big planetarium dome. Quite excited about it. Thank you. Well, I'm Frank Florian. I'm Senior Manager of the Planetarium of Space Sciences here at the Tellus World of Science Edmonton. And we're basically standing right now at the center of the Ziedler Dome, our planetarium at the Tellus World of Science Edmonton, where we can recreate the nighttime sky and show its many wonders. Well, light pollution is any light that basically spills out uh, amongst anything, whether it be you sitting in your house at home with your light on, your living room on, that's light pollution uh, as it encroaches out into the natural environment, outdoors and things like that. Edmonton is a major urban population here with a lot of light pollution. When we compare it to other major cities, it's uh, fairly bad. We know light pollution has negative effects on both animals and humans. It confuses nocturnal animals and messes with our circadian rhythms. But some experts say it's affecting us in other ways too. Noctalgia, or sky grief, describes the feeling of loss one may experience when they can no longer see a dark night sky. The researchers who invented the term say it represents not just the loss of environment, but also the loss of traditions, heritage, and storytelling connected to the star-dotted sky. Cheryl and Jarek knows what it's like, both as an amateur astronomer and a writer. I really feel the loss. I remember being on my grandparents' farm and going outside to use the outhouse in the night. And the darkness, with no moon, was thick. I felt like I was actually kind of swimming through it. Jarek is concerned about what effect that loss of darkness will have on our culture. I think it diminishes uh, the visceral effect uh, in all areas of arts and culture that uh, touches the human spirit and inspires people intellectually as well. So that would affect people in their writing, in their paintings. Uh, I can see people sort of grieving for that darkness again because you're losing something. You're losing again the ability to look up and appreciate or, uh, the night sky. You can't escape light pollution in the city. But if you need to nourish your soul by gazing at the stars, there is a way. But the city will always have this sort of glow surrounding it. And it's only when you take maybe a 30 minute drive out of the city that you can kind of leave that glow of the city behind you, this dome of light. Dennis Kofton, CBC News, Edmonton.